the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you came to call us sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again. Glory to judge the living and the dead. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten, alert, with lighted lamps to meet him when he comes, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and uh, ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord, your God, teach you what is good for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains. Their name shall never be cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those, Those who, who follow, follow you, Lord, Lord will, will have, have the light of life. of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of the sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord will come. Go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, to what shall I compare this generation? It's like children who sit in the marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. 
We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking. And they said, he's possessed by a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking. And they said, look, he's a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Children and adults look at life and reality differently. You know, children are more playful. But adults take a little more seriously or more responsibly. Jesus takes an example in today's gospel to bring home the message that how responsibly we need to take the word of God. He says it's like playful children. You know, when the children, when they, when they get together and play, some will play the flute and the others are supposed to be dancing. But in order to spoil that, some would not do it. Or they sing a dirge, so that means a morning song, and they are supposed to mourn. So they might do just the opposite. That means they didn't take things seriously. So taking this example, Jesus tells about John the Baptist and himself. John the Baptist lived a very austere life. He invited people out into the desert. And he spoke very stern, or we can say very strong language. The people did not take a like at him. Jesus came extending his table fellowship to everyone, young, old, educated, uneducated, the so-called righteous sinners. He invited everyone at his table fellowship. But that didn't go well with the people as well. In our day-to-day -day life, we can feel God's presence in various ways through different events. And how do we look at those events and various things? If you look with the eyes of faith, we can see the hand of God. If not, we can see it as just an ordinary event, an ordinary thing of the day. You know, there is an example of three people waiting for the train. The train arrived. A gentleman looked at his watch and said, Oh yes, as usual, I am always punctual. The second person said, looking at his watch, the second person said, the train comes always very punctual. And the third one was a good nun. She said, thank God I got the train. People look at life and reality in their own perspective. 
the season of Advent. The liturgy of today invites each one of us to see the hand of God, God's protection as we listen to the first reading of today in our lives and the events that are going around, that, the, the events that are happening around us. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. People all over the world suffering due to this pandemic, that they may find comfort and consolation in the one true God, we pray to the Lord. When faced with challenges, difficulties that people may turn to the one true God, we pray to the Lord. Lord For an increase of vocation to priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord For our parents, family members, and friends, all those who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering, especially members of our parish family, we pray to the Lord. Lord In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Elmi Sura, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God, a loving Father, we bring our praise and petitions before you. Bless each one of us. Grant us the grace that we may strive to live out the values of the gospel. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the beginning of this wine and water, we may come to share the divinity of Christ, who are willing to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. 
Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble praise and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope and so with angels and archangels with the thrones and dominions and with all the host and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without the end we acclaim holy 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 lord lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down His Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy and all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be Go as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
of the Savior's command. And formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Lord Jesus, Son of the Living God, while of the Father and of the Holy Spirit, give light to the world for all we are teaching and the world that may depart from you. May the mingling in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lord Jesus, Son of the Living God, while of the Father and work of the Spirit, so you brought life to the world. Free me from this by your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me part it from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only to the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. We thank those who join us through the live stream, those who listen us through the radio, 90.1, and again, those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you, and have a beautiful Friday.